Even though there are no pe people of communism in power anywhere in the United States, even though communists such as myself are a very, very small, tiny minority within the American and global population, we are currently in the dumbest red scare in American history because the way that without using anti-Semitism, what the James Lindsay's and Christopher Rufo's and who else, uh, Jimmy uh, Kirk, whatever is not his name, what these people uh, Charlie have to Kirk. Charlie Kirk. What yeah. these people have to fall back on is a grand communist conspiracy. And so our stupid red scare is because there's no communists, but they have to bring back all this backlash politics that comes out after Black Lives Matter. They have to try to find some thread, you know, some thread. And the thread is all the bad people are communists. This is communist influence. Yeah. So this is a tweet. Uh, James is quote tweeting. Emmanuel Akko, who says, as you digest the guilty verdict of Ahmed Arbery's murderers, remember this is not justice, but accountability. Justice implies true restoration, which is impossible in this case. This accountability, which is the first step towards justice, hashtag Ahmed Arbery. And uh, Lindsay says, justice means communism. That's when... <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I I agree with that myself. I'm not sure it means it the same way I do. <laughs> Justice means communism. Oh my god! Yeah, Yo, wow. which is actually kind of uh, you know an interesting thread because something I I keep thinking about right when I think about James Lindsay, which is something I didn't used to do a lot because because he just sort of seemed like a crazy person on Twitter, and you know whatever. I mean, Twitter is a garden in which many different kinds of crazy people bloom, you know, you, you, you know, so this is, this is another flower in that garden. You know, I didn't, I didn't really think about it that much, <laughs> you know, like you, you have your, um, you know, you have your near attendants, you have your Amy Teresa's, you have your James Lindsay's, you know, like whatever, you know, that's the, that's the, you know, that's the deal. But then like he started, going around the country, pushing anti-CRT bills and, and state legislatures. It's like, oh, wait a second. This one got out of the garden, right? Like he's, he's out there in the real world, like actually having uh -huh. large and, and important effects on, on things that happen in material reality. And I should actually start to pay some attention to this guy. And then I started to think, well, okay, like a lot of, you know, when I started to do the kind of thing that I do like a few years ago, like that was like the sort of high water mark of, of the, uh, the Jordan Peterson call, right. That was, that was like, mm -hmm. the, that was like really when like Peterson was like at the kind of peak of his popularity. And like, I spent a lot of, you know, an unhealthy amount of time, right. Like, like reading and watching and thinking about uh, Jordan Peterson and Peterson has this sort of grand unified theory of all the stuff that he doesn't like. Uh, which is that <laughs> essential... modern neo-Marxism. Yeah, exactly. Right? It's postmodern <laughs> neo-Marxism, man. <laughs> oh, that is actually much better than I can do. As a, uh, as a I don't Peter. have a good Kermit voice myself. You did a great job, Sam. <laughs> you ever yeah. seen Pinocchio? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I... <laughs> um, yeah. Um, fun fact, the, the very first video that, that I is on YouTube that Michael Brooks and I are both on, you know, Michael's just a voice in the background in the audience, but you know, I, I say something about Jordan Peterson and I quote something he says and Michael heckles to do his Kermit the Frog impression, uh, saying the thing that I just said. Uh, <laughs> it was very good at that. It, it was. And, and there was a thing like a little while ago, it was like a week or two ago, I don't know, it all blurs together where, where Peterson got mad at somebody who, you know, to be fair, was being a dick to him, you know, like they, 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 they sort of, called him a racist in a way that was yeah. a little bit random. They brought up his, you know, his his struggles with direction. But like his response to it was amazing. It was like it was so literally good. the kind of shit that Michael would have said doing his Jordan Peterson impression. It was like, you know, say that to my face, you know, Baco, yeah. and we'll see who needs the Benzo. Yeah, 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 yeah. I saw that. That was incredible. And he didn't Whoop even fuck quote, out. He didn't even quote tweet the right person. He accidentally like, quote, quote tweeted himself. himself again. <laughs> Again. Fucking the Twitter, like Ben said, just really destroys. <laughs> you know, I try to do the thing on Twitter, but it's not. It's not that easy. You know, <laughs> I it gets really difficult, and I I can't feel my thumbs. <laughs> he's postmodern neo Marxist man. Oh, he's egalitarian <laughs> demons. They're demons, <laughs> bloody demons.
Good God. Yeah, that's, that's good. Uh, so, so, so Ethan, thank you for the super chat, says, I'll be the first to admit that I am a postmodern neo-Marxist globalist trying to subvert Western civilization. Appreciate that. Uh, so now, you know, since, since my mind is not as agile as Jordan Peterson's, I, I don't actually understand how you can be both a postmodernist and Marxist. Those seem pretty different to me. But, Study uh, some philosophy, Ben. <laughs> okay. well, try reading Derry now, then. <laughs> but Derrida but, had that specters of Marx, so there you go. He that's said right. the word yes, Marx in it, so he must be a Marxist. Yes, that's the rule. I read if, you the have, if, if you have Marx in the title of one of your books, you're a Marxist. Then you're, then you're a Marxist. Uh, doesn't matter. Doesn't matter what the book says about Marx. Uh, like you know that like whether the book says well, basically Marx is wrong about everything, but there's a certain spirit of critique that you should you know whatever like which is basically all Derrida says in that you know stupid book. But anyway, in uh, um, so the Jordan Peterson grand unified theory of all the stuff he doesn't like is Marxism equals postmodernism equals green haired college kids yelling at him about pronouns. That's roughly the, you know, the theory. And it seems to me that, that uh, James has really updated this uh, because, because his grad unified theory, as far as I can tell, uh, you know, I think, I think both of you guys have, have spent more time than I have on this, but as far as I could tell, it goes something like this. Marxism equals maybe postmodernism definitely equals uh, like critical theory, Frankfurt School equals critical race theory equals great haired college kids equals the CDC equals Joe Biden equals the squad equals DSA uh, equals, equals Chinese communism equals Chinese communism. I think that's it. Yeah. Yeah. Um, oh, he's, I, I have to imagine that he was inspired by not just Jordan Peterson's really horrific takes and this creation of his postmodern neo-Marxism. I'm sure he was also inspired by Jordan Peterson because Jordan Peterson used that shit to become like the hottest public intellectual for a couple few yep. years before all the contradictions of his life led to a horrific benzo addiction and almost uh, almost dying, actually. Mm -hmm. um, but 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 Jordan Peterson now uh, can be like a sort of aspiration for people like Lindsay, especially people that don't know what the fuck they're talking about and uh, want to get millions and millions of followers and lots of money. You have been watching free public content from Give Them an Argument to access every single episode of the show, the main show on uh, Monday nights, all of the streams, all of the uh, debate breakdowns, all of the patron exclusive post games on Monday nights, all of the patron exclusive bonus episodes every week, and much, much more. Go to patreon.com slash Ben Burgess. I cannot resist ending this with, don't be foolish.